The reason I went into engineering is I love solving problems. I'm kind of a born inventor. I opened my first company fixing home appliances and lawn equipment, seven years old. In 1992, I was working as an engineer at uh, Xerox Engineering Systems. When the uh, engineer that, you know, he said, you know, I don't understand why we don't have flying cars. And he said, oh, what are you going to power that with cold fusion? I said, what, what's that? I normally have a lot of trouble with my nose. And, you know, over the last couple of weeks now, I've had no issues. The air is so much cleaner without all of these fossil burning vehicles and fossil burning industry. You know, from, from a societal perspective and just a, a, an environmental perspective, we desperately need to use more nuclear energy. The problem is that the nuclear energy that is in use today has a host of issues. Things like Three Mile Island or Chernobyl, which was just human error. But what's happening in cold fusion is you're transmuting hydrogen into helium as opposed to fusing in one step. So when I heard about this, I immediately started thinking about how could I actually turn that into something that could change everything. We've raised a total of just over $17 million. With that $17 million, we actually have four reactors running in our lab here in Berkeley right now. Very quickly though, it's very probable that it will scale down to the point where it'll fit inside your cell phone. And your cell phone will come with a lifetime supply of energy. Really, what, what gets me up in the morning and, and keeps me going is recognizing how bright the future can be for my daughter. We can have that with everybody still driving around and industry humming away but without all the pollution. And that's what this technology can bring to humanity.